What is up, everybody? My name is Hudson. Welcome to Balatro. Overwhelmingly positive at 98%. Everybody won't stop talking about this game. I've been playing it myself. I have to say I am quite addicted. Describes itself as a poker roguelike. You know, I really wouldn't mind if we took the term roguelike and deck builder and separated them a little bit here. Whether or not it's a roguelike, that's a debate for another day. But it's a deck building card game based off of poker. Let's start with a very basic deck essentially we're gonna pull a hand of eight cards out of that eight cards we can choose up to five cards to make a poker hand if you're not familiar with poker hands i would just maybe take a moment to look that up or look at this here from the least to most points bottom to top a few important things here is that blue is going to be the number of chips that we get and red is going to be a multiplier so as you can see a pair will give us 10 chips and a two multiplier, whereas a full house gives us 40 chips and a four multiplier. You also add in each card's number to the amount of chips that you score. For example, if I took the pair of queens here and the pair of sixes, that's a two pair. I can also throw in a, a fifth card if I wanna get rid of it. It won't be scored, but it will be discarded. Starting off with 20 chips times two multiplier, and then we're gonna add on 10 for each queen, six for each six, so it's 52 times two, that's 104 chips. We need to score at least 300 to win this level. Look what's going on here, pairs and pairs. You know what though? We start off with five hands and three discards with this deck. I'm going to actually throw away this good stuff and try to go for a spade flush. We got it. We did not get it, sorry, I'm blind. A lot more pairs though. I'd go for a full house if it gave me one. It did not. Can you just give me a spade? Cards are not reshuffled back into the deck, so once I get rid of this Ace of Clubs, you know you're not gonna get another Ace of Clubs. And to check what cards are left, we can hover over the deck here. For example, we can see that there's only one more three left in the deck, so if we were trying to go for three of a kind threes or a full house with three threes in it, the chances of actually pulling that three upon discarding and drawing is going to be slim. We can click on this too and get a, a better view of everything. Grayed out cards are the cards that we've discarded so far. And we can see that uh, there's nine spades left. We should be able to pull a spade here on our last discard. Better hope that we get it. We, we didn't actually get it. That is amazing. But what we did get, nine, 10, jack, queen, king. That's a straight, I'll take it. The burning means we got more points on this one single hand than we needed for the entire round. So you get the prize for winning. $3 small blind, $4 big blind, $5 boss. You get $1 for every hand you did not use. And you get $1 of interest for every $5 you're holding. In this case, zero. After every round, there is a shop. And the biggest thing about the shops gonna be these jokers. These are gonna allow us to manipulate our numbers and really crank them up. There are vouchers, which are like passives that will apply across the entire run. And then you can buy some extra decks here. There's uh, tarot cards. We'll talk about those later. And then this one will allow us to add two of up to five playing cards. For example, I could get another ace of clubs and have two ace of clubs in my deck. Should we buy walkie talkie for four bucks? Each play 10 or four gives plus 10 chips and plus four malt. It could be good. And you know what? Let's go Arcana. Let's get a tarot card. Let's show that off. So that was a small pack. You get to choose one of three. Moon card converts up to three selected cards to clubs. Death, select two cards. Convert the left card to the right card. Or High Priestess, create two planet cards. We'll talk about planet cards when that comes up. We got the old 10-4. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take a card that is not a 10 or a four, and I'm gonna turn, for example, this six into a 10. So I have two cards, convert the left card to the right card. Now we got more tens in our deck. We also have another heart. So that's important to note if we wanna go flushes. Once again, we can always consult the deck in order to see that. We have 14 hearts now and 12 clubs. If we're gonna go double down on this 10-4, this walkie-talkie, we're gonna want more tens and fours. Big blind is up next, 450 chips to win. Conversely, on the small and the big blind, you can skip them for a reward, but you are going to miss earning any money for it, and you are going to skip the shop that comes after it. So it's kind of risky. For example, right now, double tag gives a copy of the next selected tag, double tag excluded. So if I skip 
I now have this double tag. And what that means is the next time I skip either a small blind or a big blind, we'll get twice that reward. Once again, if you're not following some of this stuff, that's totally fine. We'll talk about it when it's important. Boss time. The Psychic must play five cards. So there's always some sort of modifier on the boss that makes it more difficult than normal. Not only is it worth more chips, not only do you have to get more chips to win, but you have to overcome whatever thing that they force you to do. Kind of a banger of a deck so far. I do really, really, really want to focus on tens and fours though. But do I really want to dump off an, a, a pair to do so? Yeah, maybe, honestly. We have a lot of discards. We have five hands to play. Honestly, if I could just get like two pair tens and fours, this would be over in one hand and we'd get four extra dollars for saving four hands. Okay, there's some tens and A4. Once again, call me a nutbag, but I'm gonna dump off this pair of aces to go for more tens and fours. Oh my goodness, that is I was gonna say all four tens. We actually have five tens technically. So if you look at this, we see there's one ten left in the deck, but a four of a kind is amazing. That's really good. And it should be over already. This itself is worth what, 420? I gotta remember back in the day when I did multiplication tables. What's six times seven? Six times six is 36. So yeah, 42, 420. Yes, blaze it. Let's go. So plus 10 extra chips and plus four extra malt per 10. And uh, we're burning. 3,220, I don't, only needed 600. So the Jokers, the Jokers make the entire game. This would not be possible without the Jokers. Got $9 for that. Speaking of Jokers, what do we got? Earn $4 at the end of the round. Well, for $6, that seems like that would be worth it. The Obelisk, times 0.2 malt per consecutive hand played without playing your most played poker hand. So if I go to my run info, I can see that I've played one two pair, one straight, and one four of a kind. If I were to play straight flush, full house, flush, any of the ones that are zero, uh, it would add on to this multiplier, but I don't think that the obelisk is, is very good early. So I suppose I'll take this extra four dollars, Joker, and I like the idea of doing a standard pack here for one of three playing cards, but the odds of actually getting a ten or a four out of just three random cards, uh, not good. So I'm going to go with the tarot card instead. You can also look at this voucher. Plus one consumable slot. We start with being able to hold two consumable cards. Consumable cards being either planet cards or tarot cards. I don't need it. Arcana, what do you got? Judgment creates a random joker. Chariot enhances one card to be a steel card. Gives you a 1.5 times multiplier while this card stays in your hand. Or convert three cards to clubs. I like the random joker. It gave me this. Create a planet card if played hand contains two or more eights. Yeah, I guess. I can always sell it now if I want to. On to the next set of three. You call this entire set an ante. So we're ante two out of eight. Let's get it. Tens and fours, please. Or eights, I guess, at this point in time. Yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. That's a full house. Two's full of ten. Go. Can we one and done this? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. So $3 for small blind, $4 for the hands that we didn't use, and $4 for our golden joker. We spent six bucks on it, so we've almost already paid back what we bought the golden joker for. Four fingers, flushes and straights can be made with four cards. I do kind of like that. I think it's going to be strong early. Foil tag, if I skip, the shop will have a foil joker, which means that the joker itself will add 50 chips when I'm scoring. Could double tag it too. Let's say no. Right out the gate here, I can see that I can make a four card flush. Let's dump off some cards and see if I couldn't pull like a 10 of diamonds in there as well. We did get more diamonds. We got some fours in there. That might be even more important. Maybe we just double down on the, on the fours instead. Could do a four card straight here, but even if I throw this other four in there, it won't be scored. So we won't actually get to apply the walkie talkie to it. Let's see if I can get a full house. Four is full of sixes. We did not. That's our last discard. All right, I'm gonna do two pair nines and fours. And there's more eights than fives. So let's throw the five with it. Couldn't get all the way there. 
halfway. This is interesting. First of all, I could do a heart flush, but I'm kind of eyeing up the idea of doing a full house. Six is full of eights because two eights is going to give me a planet card. And we got Earth, which levels up full house. So this will add plus two molten plus 25 chips onto the base payout of full houses and bump it from level one to level two. Do it. And walkie talkie, two pair tens and kings should uh, finish it up. Easy. What is this, Joker? All face cards become gold cards when played. Gold cards give you $3 if it's held at the end of a round. That could be strong early. I don't necessarily want it long term. I want things that give me more molt. But let's let's try it. We might be able to recuperate the money that we put into it, much like this golden Joker. Go for more Arcana, maybe. Devil. Enhance a card to a gold card. Emperor creates two random tarot cards, and strength increases the rank of up to two cards by one. What I would really want to do is use the strength to try to make more tens and fours, but we also have this eight ball, so what if we use the strength to increase both of these sevens to eights? Now we have six eights in our deck and two sevens. That'll really hurt our odds of getting straights, but increase our chances of getting uh pairs three of a kinds four of a kinds five of a kinds full houses let's go might be a full house run boss heart cards are debuffed so any of our heart cards are no longer going to be able to use their abilities and score any chips so even if i put this 10 in there if i use a pair of 10s we would not be able to get our walkie talkie to proc on it so no plus 10 chip no plus four malt very Stinky. Still like the tens though. So much so that I'm actually gonna get rid of everything that's not a ten and, and a four. Or a four. That's not what I wanted to see. Full house tens and fours might just end this whole thing now. There it is. Two of them are hearts. I'm still hoping that uh it works. We gotta pay attention to the Midas mask too. If we do get like even a pair of face cards, we should be playing them to turn them gold. Otherwise, it's just wasted money. Yeah, so nothing for that 10 of hearts, nothing for the four. But we did it anyways. $14 and on to anti three. Interesting. We have a, a holographic joker, which means it adds 10 malt onto every hand played. I'm also kind of eyeing up this clearance sale. Cards and packs are 25% off. Let's do that before we buy the joker let's sell our golden joker now buy this guy this guy also says times three molt if played poker hand has already been played this round so if we have for example our our second full house we'll get a, a three molt molt as in whatever our multiplier is it'll multiply that by three that seems pretty good and then you know what let's get a jumbo standard pack Looking for tens and fours here. Ooh, interesting. This is a holographic two of hearts. So that also would add 10 malt onto it. We got a queen malt card, so plus four malt. We have a four malt card, so plus four malt. I said tens and fours, so I should stick with it. What do we got? Doubles your money. Uh, we have a dollar, so I'm not going to do that. Got to get 2,800 for this small blind. There's two eights for our eight ball. If I want to go for that, let's do it. Take note that this is a two pair, so the next time we do a two pair, we'll get that times three molt. We got a Mars card, four of a kind level up, sure. And look at this, 10 Jack, Queen, King, Ace. That might just go ahead and finish it. It also might not though, let's give it a try. Using the face cards, turning them to gold. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are about 600 short, but we got nines full of eights, and that'll be uh, proccing our eight ball. And we got Saturn, which is going to level up our straight. Five dollars. Not very much money there. Whoa! Oh, I thought it was a negative card. It's just, it just kind of looks like that. You can get something called a negative joker, which does not take up one of your joker slots. Right now, we have five out of five. We can't get a sixth joker unless it's a negative card. Times three molt if all cards held in hand are spades or clubs. 
Well, we have the most amount of hearts, so it might be difficult to get this into proc, but it is all also holographic, so we get that plus 10 malt. Is that, you think, more worthwhile than the Midas mask or even the 8-ball? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the 8-ball. We could try to use this, even if we only cash in on the plus 10 malt, I think it's still gonna be worth it for us. And that's all my money. If I skip this big blind, we can get two of five playing cards and then get that twice. Oh, the mouth is coming up. Play only one hand type this round. So if you play a flush in the beginning, you can only score flushes from there on out. Hmm. Sure, let's skip and, and get four cards added to my deck. Hopefully black tens and fours. That's a red four. It's a glass card though. Gives you times two malt. This three is a lucky card. One in five chance for plus 20 malt. One in 15 chance to get 20 bucks. I'm gonna go with the four. Oh, that's right. We get to pick two of them. I'll just pick the 10 then. Double down. You gotta double down on that build. Interesting. Gold seal six. Earn three dollars when it's played and it scores. It's also a malt card. I'll take that and I'll take the 10 malt. The mouth is coming up. Hopefully we just get a really banger hand to begin with. Mmm, I'm liking the tens. We no longer have eight ball, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna dump off these cards. That's really good. This one, two, though, kinda raining on my parade. And I ended up getting another red card. I'm on a black card, please. I will rip my last discard to do this. It's all on the line. No! See, what I wanted to do was to proc this card sharp. Sorry, not that one. The blackboard. Times three malt if all held cards are spades or clubs. Now we're going to be holding the seven of diamonds, which ruins everything. Still going to be a banger hand. God, I hope it's worth 5,600 because we have no more discards. Please, please just do it. Tens and fours. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 7,600. Next chop plus eight malts if your hand contains a pair. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to be going for uh, full houses, tens and fours, kind of feel like Jolly Joker would be good. And you know what's not really that good anymore? Four fingers. If we're not going to go flush or straight, then we don't need it. Put that in there. It does matter the order that your jokers are in. For example, if we were to proc this times three multiplier, you want to add onto the multiplier prior to multiplying it. What's this guy? Permanently gain plus one hand per round. Yes, please. Now we have six total hands to play. We could skip for another double tag. You know what? What if we double tag and we get this guy? After defeating the boss blind, gain 15 bucks. So we get 30 bucks after fighting the boss. But I gotta get 12,000 chips and I can only play one type of hand once per round. Like if I play a straight, I won't be able to cash in another straight. YOLO, I guess. Big money. 3,500. Okay. And we're left with a bunch of garbage here. Let's throw everything that's not a 10 and a 4. Keep the pair of aces. We're a gold six in there. I'm not sure how I'm going to use you. Kind of want to keep it, though. Oh, this is not good. Maybe just dump off two pair aces and nines. Throw the eight with it. Maybe try to pull for a spade flush after this. 4,200. Nice. Okay, there's two pair tens and fours, but it won't score because we've already done a two pair. I think at this point in time, we should YOLO on the tens and four full house. We got it. Four is full of tens. Oh, you know what? There's four of a kind fours too. They're both going to be good. Let's just say for whatever reason, though, we don't actually finish with this hand. At least we'll be left with a pair of tens, which will be worth some amount. This should, though. This should be enough. Oh, yeah. 38 bucks because we got 30 bucks from our double tag. Minus one ante, minus one hand per round. You know, I've never bought this. Let's buy it. I already got plus one hand and the deck we started with gave us plus one hand. You're only supposed to start with four. We have six. So we could bump down to, to four ante. And we'll only have five hands per round, but that'll be fine. And you know what? Mega Arcana Pack, that's two of five tarot cards to use. Should have started with that one because there's a lot of tarot cards that give you money. We didn't get them, of course. Convert cards to hearts. That's not good for our blackboard. Create two random tarot cards. Let's do that. We got 
convert cards to spades, and convert cards to a wild card can be used as any suit. Here's what I'm thinking. We can use the spades now to convert three of these cards to spades, and then we can pop our fool card down here, which gives you whatever tarot or planet card that you just used. It'll give us another world card, and then we can convert three more cards into spades, and we can try to double down on this blackboard and make everything either spades or clubs. More arcana, please. These are good. Moon card, convert three to clubs. Gives the total sell value of all jokers. This is just $10 in the bank. Steel card, two more tarot cards if I want to use both of these now, which I totally could do. Enhance two cards into molt cards. Ooh. I'm going to try to double down on trying to get all black cards, especially my tens and fours. I think that's going to be really, really good. Get that times three multiplier late game. It's going to be huge. Save $24 for the interest, I suppose. Let's get it. I don't know if a wild card takes away from blackboard. That would be really interesting to find out. Let's say, for example, we make this King of Hearts a wild card. It probably means that it does still count as a red card because it counts as all suits. But this will be our tester. Full house, tens full of eights. We even have three of a kind eights. I just noticed that now. All right, we'll see if the king counts as a, as, as a black card or not. If this proc hits times three molt, then we know that it it uh it worked to our benefit it did proc the times three malt so it does not count as a red card interesting it being wild means i guess it, it counts as whatever card's best for you buy a full card we get another wild card or we could even uh duplicate this world card before we buy that though let's buy the jumbo arcana and see if I can't increase my money. Let's see here. One in four chance to add foil, holographic, or polychrome to a joker. That could be really good. Bonus cards. I like that one. Adds 30 chips onto the card. Or converts more cards to clubs. I'm thinking about going all black. Buy the fool. You know what? Let's take this celestial pack too. Let's increase full houses, I suppose. We've been going really hard on full houses. At some point in time, going flush could also be good since we're going to have so many clubs and spades. We're going to see a lot of flush. But I'm going to double down here on the, on the full house. I could even use the fool to get another full house, another earth card if I wanted to. Do I want to increase two pair? Yeah, we've been using two pairs frequently, so let's buy and use that. So Midas Mask says all face cards become gold cards when played. It doesn't say anything about scoring them. So I'm thinking if I just go ahead and instead of discarding these, if I just play them, it'll make them gold. Nice. And there's a tens full of force full hand. You gotta love it. I'm gonna go ahead and discard some of these and try to pull more red cards. Because it'll probably be over after this. Yeah, I guess I could just take these cards and convert them into spades. Leave the wild king alone. And then use the full card now while it'll give us another world card back. And do our banger of a full house. Oh yeah, 32 grand for that single hand. More Mega Arcana. Hermit, doubles your money, max 20. Got gold card, diamonds, lucky card, and two malt cards. Let's double our money, first of all, and then turn two of these four cards into malt cards. Genius, genius. More Arcana. God, I love the tarot cards. Except for when they give me crap. Enhances one card to be a stone card. Stone card is rankless and suitless. So you can't use it in a straight. You can't use it in a flush. You can't use it in a full house. You can't use it in a five of a kind. Basically any poker hand that would only take four or less cards, you could throw it in as the fifth card for 50 extra chips. Don't want it. Guess I'm going to go with the glass card here. I could put glass card on a four for example, and it would gain a times two malt, but there's a one in four chance of destroying it. And I don't want to destroy my fours. So maybe just like slap it on a six. Because if that breaks, that's fine. And you know, we have so much money. You only get a dollar of interest up to $25 which gives you a total of $5 interest. So we got extra cash here that we can spend. Go to minus $20 in debt. 
Nah. It's foil, though. Plus 50 chips. That's interesting. Reroll again. Increase the rank of two cards by one. Yeah, let's buy that to try to get more tens and fours. Next round. That's the boss already. First hand is drawn face down. Well, that's not very good to look at, is it? We also can't look at here and see what we have left. So we have no idea what we pulled. Just gonna discard some of them, then. We might have just ripped a bunch of 10s and 4s, who knows. It's sorted by rank right now, so you know that this card and left is at least a 10. There's some potential here that maybe we could use our Midas Mask to convert some of these, hopefully, face cards to gold face cards. Is this silly? Nah. A 2700 out of that. That wasn't that bad. Oh man, look at all these spades. I am going to keep the 9, dump off everything else that's not a 10 or a 4. Keeping the 9 because I want to use my strength card to turn it into another 10. I want to hope that I pull another 9 or another 3, and then we'll be in full house range. We did get it. So let's take this 9 and this 3, convert it into a 10 and a 4. Maybe even just take this four and this two and turn it into a spade and then do tens full of fours like that and cash in on that blackboard times three malt. If we get it after this hand, we're also gonna get the three dollars for the golden jack. It's gonna be a 10,000 chip hand. Can we do it? Oh yeah. Ooh, polychrome. 1.5 times multiplier on this thing. Gains plus four chips if played hand has exactly four cards. Well, we don't mess with that really, but the polychrome is nice. Maybe at this point in time, since a lot of our face cards are already golden, we could just dump off the Midas mask. Kind of overstate its welcome at this point in time. What's the driver's license, though? Times three malt if you have at least 16 enhanced cards, and we have 17. Okay, well, that's just a times three malt. Screw the 1.5 times malt. Let's go times three malt. All right. Good stuff. Guaranteed times three malt. Unless we get rid of some of our cards that are enhanced. Enhanced card, I just think that means golden cards, malt cards, glass cards. Anything with the extra effect on it. Voucher here that gives us plus one card slot available in the shop. That sounds nice. We're rich. I mean, we've been cashing in interest for a while, too. It's been really, really helping me. Standard deck. Go. Ten or a four, please. Ah, skip. Back to Annie five. Tens and fours, tens and fours. Greg the Egg card. Gains $3 of sell value at the end of the round. There's a couple of other jokers that play off of sell value. Also, there's a uh, an Arcana, a tarot card, that gives you how much money would be uh, the sell value of all your jokers. That, that works with that as well, but not our build. Do we want more clubs or more spades? We have 23 spades, 18 clubs. Let's go more spade. Interesting. Gold Seal Wild 5. Fine, do it. It's not a 10 or a 4, but... Oh, ooh! Plus 4 Malt when we play a card with Spade. Spade Suit. And it's scored. Could be even better than, for example, the Jolly Joker. Yeah, let's do it. We skip the big blind, we get a Spectral Pack. I haven't shown you guys Spectral cards. They are the wackiest. Converts all cards in hand to a single random suit. Um, <laughs> if it picked hearts or diamonds, we would be... That, that, that would be really, really bad. Like, really, really bad. Because these are all black right now. I don't need to mess with that. If this was early on in the game, though, you could pick something like this, and then you'd have a higher chance of going in and doubling down. Let's say it made all hearts. Well, maybe now you're going to go for flushes or straight flushes with hearts. It's not a good time for you. Adds a blue seal to one selected card in your hand. Creates a planet card if it's held at the end of the round. Let's make a blue seal 10. Fish boss. Cards drawn face down after each hand is played. If we could just get done by playing only one hand, then it doesn't matter. Like a full house of tens full of fours. Get this red card out of my face, though. Get this red card out of my face. Okay, please, please be worth 22 grand. <laughs> I don't have any more discards. We'll get $6 if we finish right now because we have two golden face cards. Oh, that's right. Every spade is going to give us... Oh, it's a flush house. I didn't even realize these are all spades. Not a full house, a flush house. 
Oh my god, that was worth 168 grand. And once again, six extra dollars from that uh, Midas Touch card that we had before. That thing has definitely paid for itself. Tarot Merchant, tarot cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. Take that take. Another tarot card. Malt cards. Turns the left card into the right card or turn into hearts. I'm thinking that we can turn this five into a ten or we can make the ten and the four malt cards. Let's do that. Malt is like our big thing right now, especially with our malt malts. Hey, look at that. We can level up flush houses. Let's do it. For context right now, full houses are giving us 90 times eight base chips. Flush houses are giving us 180 times 17. And the fact that we're going all black, we should be able to get some more flush houses. Hanged man, destroy two selected cards. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh-oh. The club's coming up. All club cards are debuffed. Ugh. Don't like that. Do I just go for a flush right now and see what we can get for it? Or do I go harder, even deeper for more tens and fours? Tens and fours! Or bust. It's working like a charm. I really want to get the extra money for holding this king, this golden king, but I also think that we should focus on getting rid of our red cards. And if I did this... Destroy them. Now we have only black held in hand, plus it's a gold card. This could be good. The last one was worth, like, what, a hundred and something grand? So this one should be good. It was a flush house, though. This is just a full house. I gotta get more world cards so I can turn 115. Whoa! Need to turn all my hearts and diamonds into spades. One in four chance to add foil, holographic, or polychrome to a joker. Please do this. Please work. No. Oh. Let's skip for a delicious double tag. I'm hoping to see a tag for a negative joker appearing in the shop. That's what I want. All right, club boss. It even debuffs wild cards. That's crazy. We have a nice little spade flush going on here. How much is just a standard flush for us? 9,000. It's not bad. It's not that good either. Tens and fours full house, please. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get rid of this red nine. I did not order this. Ooh, gotta throw one of these clubs in. It's fine. That should do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's this voucher? Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Um, the chance of either a spade or club 10 or 4 appearing in the shop is probably pretty slim. I don't think I want this. What I do want, though, is this Jumbo Arcana pack. Malt cards, diamonds, hearts, glass, or one in four chance of adding stuff to our jokers. It just pulls a random hand up here for you to work with. I really wish that I could pick different cards to change to malt cards. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna just go with the Wheel of Fortune. Hey, we ended up getting a plus 10 malt holographic walkie-talkie. You fool. Full house level six. I'll take this High Priestess. It, it uh, gives us two random planet cards. That's going to be a straight flush and a two pair. Um, I could sell it if I don't think I'm ever going to get a straight flush. I, No, nah, we're not going to get straight flushes. Could get two pairs, though. That's our fallback if we don't end up pulling off a full house. And Strength card, making more tens and fours. I'll take a Hierophant card. I'll buff two pair more. And we're moving on. Top up tag. Creates up to two common jokers. Must have room. I, I don't have room. If it ain't broke do not fix it keeping the nine for my strength card though are there any threes in our deck still there's still three threes give me more th threes and nines please oh that's beautiful that is beautiful and then you know what let's make a couple of bonus tens almost 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 have a flush house here What's this going to be worth? Hmm, I'm going to guess 150 grand. 234 grand. Glorious. Spectral pack. I got to know. I got to know what's in there. Ectoplasm adds negative to a random joker, but minus one hand size. That means we're only pulling seven cards per hand. I don't really like that. Destroys one random card in your hand and adds four random enchanted numbered cards. There's no guarantee that those enchanted numbered cards are going to be tens and fours. And there's no guarantee it's not going to destroy a ten or a four, but I want to try it. 
No, my 10. And it didn't even give me a 10 and a four. Unlucky. That was gross, bro. All right, big blind. This says initial cards and booster packs are free in the next shop. Sure, we'll double tag. Two free shops. Oh, crap. I didn't even look. The goad. All spade cards are debuffed. Oh, God. Oh, no. We might be done. The Honestly, this might be over. Dead flipping serious. Most of our cards are spades. Like, our fours are just worth nothing now. Ugh. Rot row. Raggy. Mm, the glass cards could save me, I suppose. So I want to put the glass cards at the end because you want to times two malt last. Full house, eights full of fours. Uh, do something, I guess. I don't know. I need to hit 70 grand without using a single spade card. I just... Ugh. Oh, that's what I feel on the inside. 10-4 is going to pull through, though. Walkie-talkie, please. Be one and done. 70 grand right here. We did it. And none of our glass cards even broke. Oh my goodness. We're strong. I'm so glad because we'll never see the club debuff or the spade debuff boss again. We made it through. All right, so this shop is free. We're going to buy everything. I suppose I could buy it for free and then sell it if I didn't feel like I was ever going to get a flush. But we might get some flush houses. Celestial pack. Ugh, four of a kind. Buff that. We've been having like four of a kind fours, four of a kind tens. Mega Arcana. Hit me up. World card. I'm liking that. Turn our fours into spades. And then I guess the only other non-spade into a spade. And then would that be dumb to destroy a five and a two? Nah. Blank voucher does nothing question mark chat kind of spoiled this one for me if you buy blank enough It does something really really good doesn't do anything for this current run though. Ooh Ooh buy the hermit double my money buy the fool get another hermit use that up to 60 bucks Holy moly reroll the shop see if I can't uh, get like a really good tarot card or something Wild card, I'll take that. Series. We need to get more flush houses. But holy crap, we have a lot of spades. I'm feeling it. Flush houses are worth 300 times 26. Full card right now, though, is going to level up flush house. Mm, yeah, just do it anyways. What's this? Shop as a foil joker plus 50 chips. That sounds nice, but we have a really good lineup. It's probably not going to be a joker that we need. Oh, it's the last round. This is anti-8 out of 8, so we have to fight the Amber Acorn. Flips and shuffles all joker cards. That's bad because you don't know if your 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 malt malts are going to be at the very back end, which is where you need them to be. We can handle it, though. We got to get 100,000 chips. Easy. Hmm. Only got a two pair, 10 and 4 in this one. But I suppose that I could use my strength card. You know what? Take that 5-2. Full house. I can make a wild 4. Try to get more flush house. Not going to get it now, but seems smart. Sixty-two grand. It's like the last round. Let's make a glass ten. If it breaks, it breaks. Let's turn this ace into a glass ten. Unlock the glass joker. Honestly, I don't even want to use my glass tens right now in case they break for the final round. Am I stupid if I try to discard them and go for a different ten and or four? Nah. Okay, well, we didn't get it. One more discard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. And you know what? I'm smelling a flush house. Not going to be able to proc our blackboard, though, because we have two red cards. I could destroy them, but they're tens and fours, so I'm not going to do that. Flush house me. Glorious, 137 grand. One last round coming up. There is something called endless mode, but for the sake of my editor and the length of this video, let's end it after the final boss. So let's spend all of our money. Oh man, Fibonacci. 
This is one of my favorite cards. Each played Ace, two, three, five, eight gives plus eight malt when scored. Really goes against our 10 and four build though. Tarot Joker, plus one malt per tarot card used this run. Plus 34, wow. Um, even if we got a full set of spade cards, we're still only talking about 16, 20 malt rather. And this is gonna be us 34. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's get it, Amber Acorn, let's go! Oh, that's right, they shovel the Jokers. If we pay attention though, we should be able to tell which Jokers are proccing and be able to reorganize them where we want them. Do you think that it's worth bypassing, trying to go for 10s and 4s, and just get this glass 8 in there for the times 2 multiplier? Maybe. Always put your glass card at the end. Go. All right, pay attention to which jokers are doing the multiplying, the malt malts, and we want to put them in the end. Found our walkie-talkie. We Okay, it doesn't even matter. We won. <laughs> All right, sweet. Phenomenal hand. I honestly think that if we were to go endless mode, we would get absolutely crushed. We do have a fair amount of malt, malt, and I really think that if you want to beat through anti, I don't even know what it is, like 14 or 15, you gotta get up in the mega millions of chips paid out. This is not the hand to do that, not the run, but it was phenomenal. We got through anti nine, it says. I think it means anti eight. Let me know your thoughts on this. If people really, really want more of this, of course, once again, check out the streams Tuesdays, Thursdays, 3 p.m. Central. We play Balatro there all the time. Nebula deck unlocked. Start run with telescope voucher, minus one consumable slot. Interesting. Bunch of new unlocks here. This voucher, spectral cards may appear in Arcana packs. That's super cool. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If people absolutely love this, if it gets a lot of views, a lot of likes, a lot of engagement, I will definitely think about posting more on this channel. So once again, let your opinions be heard. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.